there is a constant interest in how much longer people will uh, extend the lifespan. How long can we live? And there are quite a lot of people who would wish to live a great deal longer. And especially in America, there is a movement of cryogenics, where people give their bodies uh, to be frozen so that they can be restored in the future. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm not sure it's a good idea. But there are people who think that the more life you can have, the better. I think there's a, a philosophical debate to be had about whether that is the desirable objective. But in a more practical sense, people want to know, we're living longer now, how much longer can we live? Um, and biological sciences have moved on in recent years, and they're moving the transition age further down the line, but very cautiously. Now, it may be that there will be new understandings in biological and human sciences that, that enable us to deal with the things that cause death. I don't think anybody believes that we can eliminate death, and I would certainly be of that view. But in the 1980s, I chaired an international conference and there was a press conference and I was foolish enough to say that I thought that by 2020 there would be some people, not many, but there would be some people who would live to be 120. And the press was very intrigued by this, but mostly thought that what I was saying was nonsense. Um, and without wanting to vindicate myself now, uh, we know that the oldest person alive at present is 114. So my semi-prediction hasn't quite come true yet. But the extension of life, which we've seen going on for 150 years, at a very consistent rate of three months a year is still happening. So the likelihood, uh, a bit later than my rather bold prediction, um, will happen fairly soon, certainly by 2030. Now, how much further can we go? Uh, we don't know. I honestly don't know. What I do know is that the expectation of the majority of people uh, to live into old age is very high and I sometimes tell my grandchildren, the oldest of whom is 13, that given what I know about them, their inheritance, their social class, the income of their families, is that they have a one in three chance of living to be a hundred. And that's a, just a signifier of how life expectation has been moving and we can expect to continue to move over the coming years.